Hello everybody and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Thank you for joining me. Our view account didn't really drop unless it's a bit of a uh, delay. I was kind of expecting like 30 people to leave, but... Many of you have given this game a chance, I think. So it's very nice of you. Uh, here we are. We are April Ryan. We are in a police precinct. precinct and we're trying to hack a terminal. Uh, in order to erase somebody's criminal record and find where their sister is um, so that they will help us. That's true. Oh, there we go. Just dropped by 10. <laughs> so, Dave, you should you maybe just left or whatever. Um, we'll do a full story because I don't think we have uh, read this. Okay, this is it, isn't it? <clears throat> so, last time, essentially, went to the Hope Street Cathedral and met Father Raoul. Nice guy. He told me that Warren Hughes hangs out in Building 87, right down on Hope Street. That's Building 87 and Hope Street projects. Not exactly the friendliest place in town. It's more of a shoot first, then shoot again, then pull the trigger a few more times before asking questions kind of place. And I'm not even sure they bother with the asking questions part anymore. Hi, Zia. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> More Sunday stuff. At this rate, I'll have to get a few uh, a new diary by the end of the week. Uh, Warren Hughes wasn't bad a, a bad kid at all. Just an unlucky one. He acted tough, but I could tell he was a sweetheart. Anyway, he's willing to help. And I got to do him... Uh, but I got to do him a few favours first. I even get to play the criminal. Joy. His sister and parents were sent to the colonies, and he wants to find out where they went, so I have to dig through the police archives to get hold of whatever information I can. At the same time, while I'm in there, I should look up the Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec, which is like their cover here in in Stark. Hi, Cell. Archives. That's where I need to be. Locker room. Bingo. The world's favorite soda. And after the devastating soda wars of 2159, the world's only soda. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Hmm. Well, you haven't obeyed the Lord's at all yet, like currently, have you? Really? April has broken more laws than Gothic guy. Let's see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! I'll go with the old standby. Bingo classic. Boring, but safe. I want orange. Give me lemon lime. Okay, so we got... It's a can of delicious Bingo Classic Soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, Bingo would still be the soda for me. I'll see you, name. Thanks for joining. Alright. Oh, we're gonna get someone's eyes. It's a retinal scanner. Instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. So I'm not going to use the um, soda can just yet in case we need a, it full for some reason. What on earth? Oh god, it is as well. It's occupied. Yeah, sounds it. Hi, who's in there? Manelli, who's asking? God, I know that voice. Oh, <laughs> who are you? Agent Scully. 
Pizza delivery. Oh God, don't mention pizza, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy we made ill. All right, let's leave him for now. I feel like someone's staring at me. I did this. Yes, I did. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. What's Sergeant important? Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. It's weird. It's, it's a mixed locker room. Sergeant Morty Lode. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. The Thank showers. You. Unisex, of course. Yeah, of course. There we go. The showers. Unisex, of course. I could use a shower. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't go in there. No, she's not. You're right. She's not. Hello? Who is it? Agent Scully, FBI. Oh, Hernandez was there. You'll be wanting the chief's office then. That's down the hall. Oh, my God. Babe. Hello? Who is it? He's grunting and talking at the same time. It's me. Oh, hey, hey, wait. I know that voice. Identify yourself. Uh, um, I gotta run. <laughs> hey, hold it. Come back. Oh, my God. That hurts. Oh, bless him. You did this, April. Hello? Who is it? Nobody. Who is... Oh, my God. Somebody kill me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who is it? Sergeant Hernandez. Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, God. Oh, honey. Just look at it first. It's the key to Frank Minnelli's lock. Locker. Is that somewhere? Sergeant Minnelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. Oh, does it? The fact that you broke a... <laughs> you broke a mirror! <laughs> Hi, Delta. <laughs> well, that's all right then. Tummy ooh ah, fast relief for a runny tummy. Sounds like the opposite of his problems. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess ah. Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You can never tell from looking at him. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. It's well, empty, so he must be using it. Definitely, uh, yeah. I need his eye. broken hello Maria you got my medicine yep got it right here well slide it under the door will you hurry should we <laughs> We use anything on the medicine <laughs> to make him even worse. <laughs> or can we use the medicine on anything? I mean, that seems really. Let's just give him more candy. Let's <laughs> put put like candy in there. <laughs> no, stop it. Fine, just give him the medicine. Oh, thank God! Thank God! <laughs> the 
It's a light switch. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. The soup. The soup. No need to go any further, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be bothered that we turned the light off in there. I feel like someone's staring at me. Sergeant Russell Franco. It's broken. Click everything. It's broken. It's broken. I know it's broken. Poison is. <laughs> no. Pixel hunt a high. Okay. In what screen would the pixel hunt be? In this screen, or in the locker, or outside? Because if I know which screen I'm pixel hunting in, it, it, it helps, you know? Big surprise, I'm still here. Okay, keep looking in the locker. We'll leave light, I'm fine. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. What to find in the locker? Is there? Is there? <laughs> It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's a receptacle. I don't look at the eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Close into your eye. What is it? I don't. Broke, it's broken. It's broke, 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 it's Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password. Wife's birthday. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It... How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? <laughs> Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how. It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli. <laughs> God damn it, Maria. I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking. Maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Being nice? 
<laughs> nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake. You don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can. We got a login, but we can't. Get Gotta go, Manelli. Uh... Thanks for your help, Maria. As far as I know. Phew. Sergeant Jesus, Maria, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. Oh. Oh, never mind. That was handy. Hey, leave my eye alone. <laughs> Just... Back in your slot. What? Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So how do I make him sneeze? Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. I like how just put it back in, you know, after it's been on the toilet floor. Oh crap, my eye! It's Frank Manelli's synthetic eye. It is. I can't get it. What other eye? Hey, there you are. Or is it another eye? There's only. It's a receptacle for synthetic. A receptacle. Eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. So I must be able to substitute it with something. Switch it with the pen. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. I don't think I have anything that I can switch it with, obviously. No. Let's have a look out here. Sergeant Forty Low. Back in your slot. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. There you are. Back in your slot. to my Maria Maria did you take my eye give it back yeah. there you are back in your slot no it's it's unisex <clears throat> interesting so we got a little bit further <laughs> oh crap yeah, my it. eye What the hell happened to my... Maria! Run Maria, away! did you take my eye? Give it back! There you are. Back in your slot. <laughs> oh, crap! My eye! Uh, 
Um. There you are. What's that? Back in your slot. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's not very good. Oh, You've been very consistent eye. about all of these. There you are. Back in your slot. It isn't showing up. Yes, it is. It's not glowing. There you are. Back in your slot. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. Stop it with Constable Guybrush. Back in your slot. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. in your slot. Turns out they probably do. Oh crap, my eye. <laughs> yes, it does. There you are. Back in your slot. Do the monkey. Oh, I am. Can you have that oil here? Bingo classic <laughs> soda. Crap, my eye. There you are. There's like a widget Back inside in here. Spot. I was thinking that might be it, but it's not. <laughs> oh, crap, my eye. All right, tell me how to do it. Yeah, I know, but I'd rather you just tell me. There you are. Back in your slot. Ah, okay. He's got an eye. The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. Sweet. Monkey see, monkey do. Well, not without this, he won't. Oh. <laughs> oh crap! My eye. <laughs> I know. <laughs> in your slot. Oh god, I'm seeing red. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Maria, Maria, go get the doctor fast. I'm seeing red. 
<laughs> He's not having a very good day, is he? It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. I'm just um <laughs> borrowing it. He'll get it back. Alright. Don't think I can use it on this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, because I need it. Oh, I see, and then you kind of screwed them. Because you obviously need it for... Yeah, you're right, it is. It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. No, apparently it isn't. Printer, computer... Control panel. It's a control panel with a weird keyboard. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. <coughs> they used that in, like, the 18th century or something. <laughs> it's a computer from, like, the Stone Age. I've never seen anything like it outside of a museum. It's a miracle it's still working, let alone in active service. Oh boy. I don't like the look of this, I'm telling you. Button one, button five. See you, Vanguard. Thanks for dropping by. Ancient printer. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli. And I feel really guilty doing this. Oh, I really feel about this bit. I, about uh. Love my wife, Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. <laughs> yes! I am so good. Again. <laughs> now, what to search for? Father and mother both dead. Burglaries. Blue property. I don't think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been <laughs> kind of active. Whoa! I think I just killed Warren. <laughs> oh well. He's just going to have to... Uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. <laughs> Just the more. Warren's sister. Please, please let there be something. Good, I was only one of them. Which is strange because she she appeared in um, Warren's thing. Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. Oh, there we I go. better remember it in case I need it. Yeah, you're gonna remember that. Warren's sister, and that's her colonization number. I better remember it in case I need it. the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. Drake? I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren. 
<laughs> it's a long shot, but... The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark. So there must be at least some information available. Protecting classified of the religious secrets react. Revolutionary Church. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind though. It could turn out to be important. Alright, let's check there's nothing else. Just Erica there. The so-called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ah. They look like the characters on that keypad behind me. They do. Do I have to remember that? Do I have to write that down? <laughs> Done it. Hopefully I don't... Well, it's really much difference really. Uh, I'm just going to make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Good. You think I'd have a file on everyone, though, wouldn't you? Regardless. Oh, I. I'll leave it until I've printed out all the information I need. Oh. Maybe that's something to do with this. Uh, so, um, that one. Uh, that one. That one. Whoa. I know we've really wrecked his day, haven't we? There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. Yeah. Ooh. It's a tiny data cube with a non standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. I hope nobody's watching. <laughs> I hope nobody's watching. Right, something on here I don't have. I guess I need the proof that I've done it. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. I like how we ring binded it. I guess we're done. Let's save it. Seems like we've done quite a oh no. Done quite a lot here. Save the game, save it. Ooh. Get that. It's a screwdriver. 
The repairman must have left it by accident. Yes, by accident. Not on accident. <laughs> Ice pajamas. It's a magnetized screwdriver. That's got to come in handy. So, if we can leave... You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his Tuvok. <laughs> then we're definitely done. Oh, hello. Can I speak to him? Oh. Oh, he's a crook. He's not the repairman. We don't want to speak to him. No, no. How is Sir Jammers? Are you doing all right? Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Oh yeah. This way. All right, we did it. Actor dude's gone. <laughs> Don't need that yet, so if we get out of the of here. isn't the crook. No, 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 no. Ah, maybe things have changed around here. So talking to that fat guy. I don't want to know what he's doing. <laughs> She's gone. go did you get the information is my sister okay it wasn't easy but I did it your sister's fine you don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore that's great that's thank you really thank you so do you have the information for me sure right here yeah. sometimes it's like you know Listen, it does Lauren, it by dialogue as soon as you gotta parents, do it in the game they're, they're dead but your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Bokamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... my parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. I feel bad about not getting the, hey, the guy his eye back. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. <laughs> Cops are not going to be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. But I'm going to have a tough time getting a new ID. You should have just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks, down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Yay! Progress. I doubt we can get that anti grav thing yet, but we gotta remember it's there. Going to all the uh, weird places in town, isn't she? I 
can't we go in anywhere nice? Well, this is uh, cool. Cargo containers. That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. It's the old shipyard. Cargo con cargo con cargo containers. Cargo container cargo con cargo con cargo containers. The city looks ominous from here through all the smog. Metro Tower in particular. Very gothic. Sure, we can see it a bit better. It's the old shipyard. It's the old shipyard. Ladder. It's a rickety ladder. Yeah, they're all rickety. And they're all evil, April. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. Putting your greasy hands on me. I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity, and any further physical contact will result in you being toast. Uh oh, it bites. All right, let's not touch it again. I wonder if you do, whether you'll die. Whether you die in the game. It's a rickety ladder. This bit isn't. This bit. Isn't. It's a rickety ladder. Figured that. Uh. Oh, maybe not. Uh oh, it bites. Okay. I uh -oh, thought that it might be it charged, bites. but because it's been left there for a while, it might be like a charge down. The garbage vehicle. Oh dear. Two pipes. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Two eyes. Needs a mouth. The doors are closed. Yeah. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Where there's ventilation, there's life. <laughs> MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then? That's so last century. It's an industrial strength paint shaker. It's a, it's a container. I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one lifetime. <laughs> so, no. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm going to risk getting stuck ten feet down and starved to death. Junk. Knock three times. Knock three times.
You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. I'm not a slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! <laughs> I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I fight because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Well, you're such a bastard! Listen! I was out to arrest you. Don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. My channel warm was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. <laughs> the flip bar. Great. Oh god. Ladder. Okay. We don't have to touch it. Good. Oh, hi, Frantic. You know what? I did not see you come in. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're being watched. I don't even watch, but I like the fact that you've got a different kind of thing going on here. It's a nice way to say we're being watched. Whenever you're ready. I didn't say go in here, I just have a look at the bloody thing. There's light down there, but the pit's too deep to see anything. Jump! Oh, you can. They don't look very solid. Frantic suddenly, like, leaping in from the shadows. Welcome, welcome. Into the pit. Okay, hello. Here we are. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's got to be Burns Flipper. Hello? Are you Burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked. You let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend, April? Warren who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren. Right, yeah. Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. The Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Oh, sure, I date 15 year olds all the time. Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? I need some information. 
So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The Flipper can't help you? That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? <laughs> about you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Reverse psychology. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? Hmm. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details. Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman. There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map. is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything, from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S-Smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S-Smart. Evil Dead. Nah, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> what happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You wanna know? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't wanna know. I'll tell you you took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. Tricky one. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know there's no wrong answer here because he's just going to believe whatever she says. But now I'm kind of curious about, you know, it's, you know, what we know about her. Whether she's or not. This is the important. This is it. This is end game. Is it? Stop talking about the pawn cubes. <laughs> Isn't that just Minecraft? Don't, don't, don't. Away, away, away from. I am a virgin. Right. And I lost my legs in a hunting accident. Mosquito bit it off. Nasty motherfucker. Really? Nah. I'm just fucking with you again. <laughs> well, gosh darn it. You really got me there, boy. Oh, ouch. It bites. You got teeth, honey. Let me have it. Ah! <laughs> You're weird. So are you. I need information. I need details. D E T A I L. Details, woman. I need something. I can't go on what you're talking about. You like talking Latin. 
I need. I need. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. <laughs> I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha. See ya. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Very cyberpunkish. Hmm. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Very 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 cyberpunk. Very cyberpunkish. Very cyber very 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 cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Just check it. <clears throat> oh no. You guys. Very cyberpunkish. The seven hundred hasn't meet up with Cortez again for her to have some sort of information to sort. Yeah, so maybe Cortez will know something if I can meet up with him. So I guess we leave. Maps! They don't look very solid. That's quite enough. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible. Oh. Do you want a drink? Don't know why I would do this, but I don't know why I do a, most of the things in this game. Excuse me. Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Thanks! <laughs> sure! Alright, I don't think we use it on him. A new species of creature has oh. entered your dungeon. Oh, I don't know who that is. Uh, just a minute. Oh, it's not even showing. No, no, I've minimized the game. Thank you for joining! Thank you for the follow! Uh, sadly, I can't see the readout. There's this. <clears throat> hey, Burns? I'll be right up! I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, that. That's the important thing. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it. I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Yeah. Could you? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little plaything, I'd kick you out. And eh, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes.
bomb. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Just step over to the screen there, and I'll play it back for you, okay? To join in the effort. We must charge forward into a new era of compassion, this seems nice. companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. Woo! I am not my nature a man of violence, nor are you. I know that, but the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time has come. Our time has come. We will do what we must to protect ourselves and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will go to war if that's what it takes. Who was that? He was incredibly charismatic, but cold. Who do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGowan. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Supposed peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. <laughs> but I thought the Church of Voltaire was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, as clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? That's ah, a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info in this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. Now, I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But... Both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? 
Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has. They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. Mm. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, he runs the whole dark side of the church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? <laughs> now, you're either very brave or very stupid, Jakita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. The hell is it? Why are you doing it? That's, uh... Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operation, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is... MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Freak the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? <laughs> It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard Elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think, shit? Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Oh, the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No general update. Unless it here happens. Trace is not a general update. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, Grendel is the uh, monster from Beowulf, but was it's got any significance to this? Who knew? Um, well, let's save it and call it there for a day. I'm afraid it's getting pretty late and uh, getting a bit tired. Well, we know what we have to do. It's just it's not on the. Uh, 
journal entry. I thought we'd get one straight after we finished all that, because that was quite a lot of info there, and we didn't get anything. Or maybe if we just move a little bit further on. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, no, sorry. Yep, got it. It was fun to have you guys around as always. Appreciate you guys spending time with me and stuff. Um, but yeah, it got to come to an end at some point, and it is now, I'm afraid. Quit, quit, quit. End of journey. For now. But we'll be back next week with more. So, guys, uh, thank you again. Uh, you've been a wonderful audience. Cheers for all the tips and everything. Uh, I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> I'd have to use a guide. Probably. Um, take one time, otherwise. Really would. So yeah, cheers everybody. Have a good week. Take care. I might see you soon, I hope. Bye-bye. Toodaloo.